You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Stanley versus Williams. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Stanley, you have dragged your former fling, Mr. Williams, to court for a paternity test to prove he did not father your three-year-old son, Ryan Alexander. You admit to being intimate at the time of conception, but say today's results will prove your son does not have his DNA. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams, you say baby Ryan Alexander is the most important person in your life and claim the only reason Miss Stanley is doubting that Ryan Alexander is your son is because she has a new man in her life and doesn't want you around. Is that true? That's correct. You're here with your Aunt Mary, who says she has proof to show that Ryan Alexander is your biological child. So, Miss Stanley... Were you in a relationship with Mr. Williams? Was this a committed relationship? This was more like a sexual type kind of relationship. It was a relationship. I never loved him. It was a mistake. No. You honor, excuse me, she's wrong without me. She's a liar. What? what? How did you see the relationship, Mr. Williams? Explain. We, she plan, had us planned out getting married. She had us planned out to get the cakes. She had us planned out to get the... For, I was taking her kids back to school almost every day. I've done everything for her and them kids. And so you feel like you all were in a relationship. You were talking about marriage? Yes, ma'am. Picking out wedding cakes? Yes, ma'am. Is that true, Miss Stan? No, Your Honor, it is not. <laughs> yes, that, that is true. true. How no, long were you not. together in your estimation, Mr. Williams? We was together for about a year. For a year? Yes, ma'am. And you say you were planning to get married. Yes, ma'am. And I have proof of that, ma'am. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you okay, hand me that this proof? This here is where she was <laughs> texting me off of Facebook, asked me if I was Chris's aunt, and that they were going to get married, and she wanted me to do the wedding because I am a community chaplain. And I <laughs> told her, yeah, and she asked me how much would I charge. I told her nothing because it's my nephew. Let me and see that, she's ma'am. nothing but about... Wanting somebody to try to use. So this yes. is a message, a text <laughs> message yes, from Miss Stanley. Yes, ma'am. That says, "Did you hear that me and Chris is gonna get married?" Yes, ma'am. Is this a message you sent? No, Your Honor, it is not. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it is. You no, are... it is yes, not. Yes, ma'am, yes, it is. Oh uh, well, then let's pull up my Facebook page and let her. Uh, look well, then at let's, it do it. Then well, let's, let's do let's that. Then let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do that. Let Chris fight his own no. battles. Oh, Instead of letting you do it. No, how about that? It's none of your business. What's yeah. going on in the uh, courtroom? Yes, yes it, it is, is my aunt's because, business. Uh, that's my nephew, and I raised him. I'm telling yeah. you right now. I don't care if, if, if that was his son. I, just like him. Out, buddy. Let's get some order. I understand you raised him as your son. You care about him. You love him. And you're here today, and everyone is going to get an opportunity to present their case and their side of the story. All right. So... Ms. Combs, you did say that at some point Ms. Stanley told you he was the father of Ryan Alexander. Is that true? She's always told me since the boy was born that it was his. There was not a question that he belonged to somebody else. I have proof there again of both boys. This is Chris as a child and this is... Uh, her son is a child, and they both look identical, so... Let me see that evidence, please, ma'am. Chris came to me and asked me if I thought he belonged to him because everyone else kept saying it wasn't. And they, with the pictures, I said, yes, it does. I said, don't listen to everybody else because people are just going to say what they want to say. I said, but that boy belongs to you because he looks identical to Chris. And so this is a picture on the left is Ryan Alexander... The, and yeah. then on the right is Mr. Williams as a child. Yes, ma'am. And you believe you see a strong resemblance? Uh, yes. I have another Facebook thing that she had texted me saying that he was the that he was a good father. Let me see that son. evidence, Miss Combs. And so this is another message you say Miss Stanley sent you that reads, "He is really good with my kids, and Ryan loves his daddy." Correct. Miss Stanley, did you send this no, message? No, Your Honor, I did not. So, where do you think these messages are coming from? Maybe because uh, he had access to my cell phone. That didn't come from cell phone, baby dog. It came from the messages that you sent me on Facebook, and it's even got the dates on there. That <laughs> exactly, it was access to my, fa exactly. He, no, access to my Facebook 
switch is downloaded on my phone. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sure. All right, Miss Stanley, did you ever tell Mr. Williams that he is Ryan Alexander's father? Did you no. ever say that? No, Your Honor, I did not. Your Honor. How did he come to this conclusion? Because he is very, very excessive with me. He follows me everywhere. If I'm at a grocery store, he would follow me with me not even letting him have the knowledge of him knowing where I was at. He was there. So you feel like he wanted this child to be his, so yes. he just created that story? No, he no, kept you trying to But you do, you do admit that you were in a sexual relationship yes. with him. And, and was it during the time Ryan Alexander was conceived? Yes, ma'am, it was. Were you all using protection or no? No, Your Honor, we was not. Well, Miss Stanley, you do understand if you're having <laughs> sex with someone without protection during a window of when a child is conceived, he could be a potential father. You understand that, yes, right? He could be a potential father, but I do not think he is the father of my child. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you're with the other man. How do you end up with Mr. Williams? We met at my cousin's place. We were living in a trailer where Mr. Williams would come and visit with me. At that time, that's when I conceived Ryan Alex, is when me and my ex was split up. I still had a relationship with him after I had got with Mr. Williams. So you were split and you were dating Mr. Williams, but you still were having sex with your ex? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Williams, were you there when Ryan Alexander was born? No, ma'am, I wasn't because for once she wouldn't even let she wouldn't even call me to let me know she was having an emergency sex section at the hospital. I didn't know nothing about it the next day. It's kind of hard to let you know anything, Mr. Williams. Whenever no, I was put no, under it ain't sedation, too hard to let I was about put you're under wrong. sedation. You're wrong. You're wrong. If you had, yeah. you I was in some order. Let's not argue. Let's just get the facts. Did you not inform him on purpose? I did not inform him on purpose. You did? Because, and why didn't you want him there? Because I did not want him there because he is very disrespectful. He cusses me in front of my children while he's holding <laughs> our son in his arms. You don't cuss him in front of the and children, so, too? No, I sure so, don't. So, me so you just said while he's holding our son in his arms. Yeah. So you. are you saying <laughs> yeah. now yeah. that Ryan Alexander is... No, he is my son. When you said our, who were you referring to? Me and my exes. Okay. Your Honor, I have evidence right here that his name is not on his birth certificate. <clears throat> so this is a copy of Ryan Alexander's birth certificate, yes, Miss Stanley. You've presented this to show that Mr. Williams' name is not listed as father. That's correct. My ex's name is on his birth certificate. So because you were confused about who was the father, you had slept with both men, you ultimately decided to put your ex's name? My ex had signed the birth certificate because Mr. Williams did not show at the hospital. So if he had shown up, would if you he... have let Mr. Williams sign yes. it? Yes, I sure would have if... If he was, you know, if there was a DNA test to be proven that he was the father. He has been harassing my family for the last three years and I want it all to end. And I hope today that I get my results that I need for this all to just, to just go away. Clearly you were in a relationship with another man as well during that yes, time. Yes, Your Honor. Do you think he's the father? Yes, I do, Your Honor. You do? Yes, I do. Why do you believe that? because I had slept with him more than I slept with Mr. Williams. You're a liar. You're a straight, low-down liar. So Don't wait a minute. Face. You feel like this man has a greater probability of being the father because you slept with him more often? Yes, Your Honor. Whoever she could be with <laughs> would give her whatever they could get, because she oh, So now, Miss yes, Holmes, sure Miss Holmes, calm you down. Don't... We're not going to start arguing across the aisle anymore. I'm trying to understand from Miss Stanley. She's admitted that Mr. Williams is potentially a father, but she feels like this other man has a greater probability of being the father because you feel like you were more consistent with him in terms of a sexual relationship. 
But you do know it just takes once. Yes, Your Honor, I okay. didn't know that. So, have you allowed Mr. Williams to be in his life at all? No, Your Honor, I have not. Um, Your Honor, excuse me. Yes, yes, she has to because I held my son all the time. I always kept my son because you can ask my cousin, her cousin, both. I kept them. I kept my but son. But the at relationship her house stopped. Why they? Why she talking about her? The relationship stopped whenever you time. started going out and going no, to stores no, and no, for money. No, no, no. Usually, where really usually with every dumb guy in New York. Make it happy in the bed. All right, oh, calm down. You did it, baby. Straight nothing. Other men. You'll get a chance. So the animosity and the anger is that you feel like you were there, Mr. Williams. Yes, ma'am. But she was off with someone else. Yes. And Miss Stanley, did you allow Mr. Williams to keep the baby sometimes? No, Your Honor, All I did not. Kids. So he's never ever sat with Ryan Alexander no, he has and not. watched him when you weren't not around. Not by himself, not for one well, point in time. Well, it don't mean that he might not have been not by himself, but he's watching your kids and your son while you was uh, out he running He never the watched. He never yes, he ever watched. Last no, morning, he did not. Your Honor, excuse me? So you're saying he didn't watch your children no. either? Yes, your I Honor, did. he did not. Yes, I did, Your Honor. I took good care of her kids while she was gone, out, out running up down the streets with my cousin and them. Everyone, her kids called me daddy every, every time. So you deny, Miss Stanley, that Mr. Williams has ever played a role in Ryan Alexander's life at all? That's correct. The other gentleman, the gentleman you believe is his father, the ex, has he played a role in Ryan Alexander's life? No, Your Honor, he has not. He has not? No. Who's stepping in now and helping with Ryan Alexander and, My and, and boyfriend. being the father? My boyfriend. <laughs> your boyfriend is. I'd like to hear from you, sir. Will you stand? Please state your name. Anthony Jennings. Mr. Jennings, thank you for being here. So you have now stepped up and you are being a father, basically, to yeah. Ryan Alexander. Yeah, for the last two years. What do you know about the situation and whether or not there is truly a possibility that Mr. Williams could be Ryan Alexander's biological father? Well, I've been with her for two years. I ain't never heard nothing about that, but when the first three months we was together, I was at the store, he come by, see if he can go see Ryan. I was like, well, okay, well, I didn't know nothing about this, all right? I saw that, yeah, go ahead. So when I come back home that day, she said that he had him in his hands, holding him at the, on the carport, cussing her and all that stuff when he had him in his hand. And I buy that kid clothes, I buy him diapers, I buy him wipes. I've been doing it for two years. I've learned him how to swim. Mm -hmm. I take him to the parks, I take him, I take him everywhere. That's my kid right there. I don't give a, I don't care if it's my, it's my biological mind. I've been raising that kid. That kid's mine. I don't care. You feel like that's your son? Yeah. When he sees you, does he call you daddy? Yep. If Mr. Williams is determined to be his biological father, then he would, of course, have a right to be in this child's life. Yes, ma'am. You would still continue in your relationship with Miss Stanley. Yes, ma'am. And you still want to be a part of Ryan Alexander's oh, yeah. life, even if oh, it's yeah. determined Mr. Williams is, in fact, his biological father. Yeah. So, Mr. Williams, you say today truly means everything to you. Yes, ma'am. Because this little boy is very important to you. Yes, ma'am. He's three years old now, and it sounds like you've missed out on a lot of... His life. Yes, ma'am, because the mother took him from me and wouldn't even let me see him. How has this affected you? And it took affect me a lot. Every time I try to ask, they, they, you know, they, they, they even, you know, get to keep him. Or even get to come over and spend time with him. It's always the answer, no, you can't keep him. You can't, uh, you can't be around him. So what if the results don't go the way you want? What if, in fact, Mr. Williams is Ryan Alexander's biological father? He will have a legal right to see his child. I understand that, and I do not mind for that. Okay. I want it to be supervised if he is to have any contact with my son. Okay. Mr. Williams? Yes, ma'am? If you're deemed to be the father today, are you ready to step up? Are you ready to do what's necessary to raise this young boy? Yes, ma'am. To make sure he has a safe, happy, healthy upbringing? Yes, ma'am. And to help his mother? Yes, ma'am. Raise him? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I think it's time for the results. Jerome? Need this too. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings.
In the case of Stanley versus Williams, when it comes to three-year-old Ryan Alexander Stanley, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Williams, you are not his father. Thank you, I appreciate it, Your Honor. Thank you very much. I know that wasn't the news you wanted. But hey, it's okay, I can move on my life. I can do better. I can do better she could. I got a vehicle, you don't. That's not what you have that makes your life perfect. Whatever, Linda, I don't want to. Well, uh, the vehicle I, I doesn't make your life less, see, less, but, let's but, let's stop arguing. The truth is the truth. The DNA has spoken. It is what it is. <clears throat> you all presumably will go on to raise this young man, his biological father. Are you able to reach that person? Yes, I am. He already knows that there's, there, there's a possibility that it, it is his. So you will be able to let him know that Mr. Williams has been tested and he is not? Yes, ma'am. And if you need this court, again, if you feel like you want to be certain, we will be here to help you. Thank you. It's a beautiful thing that Ryan Alexander has Mr. Jennings. Mm. And he's had him to really fill in that gap. But every child, at some point in their life, will want to know who their biological father is. You want to be able to provide that information and help your child develop a relationship early on so they don't feel like they're missing anything. You know? Good luck to all of you. Thank Take you, Take care Arthur. of that beautiful little boy. Court is adjourned.